today I am sitting off to the side of the screen because today I am going to be filming my what is on my iPhone video for you all. This is an updated what's on my iPhone because you guys know that I had the iPhone 6 and that started to get really crappy and everything. So in December I decided it's time to upgrade so I upgraded to the iPhone 7 Plus. So if you guys enjoyed this what's on my iPhone video, give it a big thumbs up, stay subscribed to my channel and follow me on my social media which is Beauty Chicky on Twitter, Instagram, you know, and Snapchat. Go and follow me on all of those. But with all that being said, I want to hop right into this what's on my iPhone video. So let's get started. Hey guys, so welcome to my iPhone. This is my phone right here. Just wiggling the screen as you guys can see it is right next to me. As you guys can see I'm using a screen recorder to show you guys my phone and everything. And for some reason whenever I put my phone on lock to try and show you guys my lock screen it will not let me. It pauses the video recording for some reason so I am unable to show you that. But the only thing that's special about that I guess is my wallpaper. And my wallpaper is just a picture of my boyfriend so I don't think it's like anything significant but uh yeah so when you open my phone though it looks like this as you guys see I only have one page of apps because I like to keep my apps in folders and I like to keep them on one page so first when you slide it to the side obviously it comes up the date and everything and I am recording this on Monday January 16th as you guys could see and then I just have my up next which is basically like calendar or alarm reminders and it just says to take my pill at five which I do every single day and then map destinations which I have none right now and normally it does say the weather in here too However, if I were to open up the weather, it would have my location, so I decided to take that out of the widgets menu for now, so yeah. So on to the actual thing, so here's my page of apps. As you guys can see, I don't have anything like crazy, at least I don't think I do. I like to keep my phone very minimalistic, I don't like a lot on it. But anyways, the first thing in the corner here is my messages, and I constantly delete my messages, which is why I don't have a lot right now. I just have two group chats with my friends and cousins, I have me and my manager's text messages, and then me and my boyfriend's messages, so that's really it for that. And then I have my calendar, and I like to keep like upcoming events in my calendar and stuff. I am such like a calendar hoarder, I keep everything in here, and I don't really have any upcoming events, do I? No, nothing like specific. I did have a lot of things marked off in like months before and everything, but yeah. The next thing is my photos. When you open up my photos, literally the only pictures right now in here are of me and my boyfriend because as you guys know, my phone is fairly new and I like take a lot of pictures and everything, but I like to keep a lot of my pictures on my computer instead of my phone, so I barely have any pictures on here. As you guys see, it says 60 photos and 3 videos, so that's like nothing. But yeah, so I just have a bunch of pictures of me and my boyfriend on here. I have some screenshots of like products that I want to try. And then I have like this picture of my mannequin from cosmetology that looks terrible in these pictures but I took before pictures because I'm actually in the process of dyeing your hair violet and pink so that'll be very cool so I wanted some before pictures and then I just have like some selfies on here and like I said I have some pictures of my boyfriend and yeah that's about it for my pictures I have these really good pictures of this crepe that looks so good and then Tucker but yeah that's that's really it for my photos there's nothing special in there and then I have my camera of course which is my favorite part of my phone so here I am right now looking like I'm about to take a selfie. My favorite part of the phone camera is the portrait mode, which I have to flip the camera around for, which I think it automatically does it. Yeah, basically you could like focus on one object. Like, let me see if I can focus on this. Let's see if I can focus on something that'll do the depth effect. Uh, oh, there we go. Kind of. You can kind of see it like that if I were to take the picture. And you can't really see the difference because there's like not that good of lighting down here. I'm using fake lights right now. But like the pictures of like the crepe, like this is with the depth effect and the one of Tucker, that's with the depth effect. So that is like the best like feature on the phone is the camera. Like the camera is phenomenal. Anyways, moving on. Next is weather. So I have the New York weather up right now, of course. Uh, it's pretty crappy here right now. It's 39 degrees. It's freezing. And I don't know why it says it's 9.41 a.m. at the top, but actually it is like, I don't know, what time is it? It's 6.44 p.m., so I don't know. The next app is my clock, of course, and inside of my clock I just keep my alarms, which I have all my alarms for school right there. I have an alarm for my pill, and then I have an alarm for my new videos, and then I just have like stopwatch, timer, and world clock. I just have New York and LA because my boyfriend goes to LA a lot, so there's a time for that. And then I have maps, and obviously everybody has the maps app. This is that. I'm on New York City right now, so that's that. Then I have my contacts, which I have quite a bit of contacts. As you guys can see, I'm not going to go through all of them of course so I'm just scrolling and everything 
But yeah, there are my contacts. And then I have the app store, which I'm not gonna go to, of course. My settings, which I'm not gonna go to. And then we have my notes. And in my notes, I just keep simple things. Like I have a to-do list that only has two things on it right now because I'm getting a lot done, so that's really good. And then I have my workout routine, which is just like a bunch of different things that I do. And I actually have a workout routine video if you guys wanna check it out. Um, I'll leave a link below or something like that to it, so yeah. And then I have my filming and streaming and editing and everything like that schedule. And then I have this little layout of like my YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, you now and all that stuff. That's just for company emails. I put it at the end of all my emails. And then the stuff that's important note, I'm not gonna open up because it has like things in there, like just silly little things, but like things you guys shouldn't see. Like, um, yeah, it's just things that you guys shouldn't see. It's more personal things, so yeah. The next is the calculator, which there's a calculator, amazing, wonderful. And then I have FaceTime, of course, and the only person that comes up in my FaceTime is Corbin because I literally don't FaceTime anybody else. Um, I'm not a big FaceTime person. Um, I only FaceTime my boyfriend because of course we're in long distance. So that's why he's the only person there, so yeah. And then I have Twitter, which is my favorite app in the world. This is my Twitter. If you guys wanna go and follow me, you definitely should. My username is BeautyChicky, as always. All my usernames are BeautyChicky on everything. So yeah, this is my Twitter. These are my recent tweets and retweets and all that. We got some DMs here. And then I have my notifications right here. So there's all my notifications from all you chickies. So yeah. And then I have Instagram, which is my other favorite app, of course. I love Instagram so much. So here are all my, oh my god, this girl spammed me. Holy crud. But anyways, yeah, here's my Instagram. You guys should definitely go follow me. My username is BeautyChicky. I post um, a little bit on there. I don't post as much as Twitter, but I do post a lot on there and I post updates and everything. So you should definitely Definitely go follow me on there if you're not already. And if you guys haven't already, this first picture that you see right here of my friend Emily, you guys should definitely go and like that picture. It's for a contest. It'll help me out a lot. So yeah. And then here's my Instagram feed of just, you know, some random things, some people, and yeah. So that is all for Instagram. And now moving on to Snapchat. So here's my Snapchat. As you guys can see, I have this little cute filter on right now. Um, my Snapchat username is BeautyChicky, so if you guys want to go and add me, definitely do. I constantly post on my story and I mean like constantly. So if you guys want updates or just funny things, um, you know, to look at or just anything like that, definitely go and follow me. I'm gonna post this in my story right now. Let's do it. Ready? Ready? No, I'm not gonna do that post. Perfect. Put a filter on it. Filming what's on my iPhone. Yay! Pop that in my story, and there we go. So here's my Snapchat stories, and then my Snapchat's right here. In case you guys wanted to see, here's my Snapchat story right now. It's very simple, and yeah. So next we have YouTube, of course. That is what you guys are watching me on right now. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to this channel, definitely do. Here's my videos. You guys should definitely subscribe. My videos are awesome. My videos are lit. Definitely go and do that. And then we have my subscriptions feed right here, just a bunch of other YouTubers, so yeah. All right, next we have You Now, which You Now I broadcast on. I try to go on every other day at least. So here's my You Now profile. My username on there is Beauty Chicky, or it'll come up as Christina Marie. So you guys should definitely go on there, become a fan of me, watch my broadcast, and you know, turn the notifications on so you'll get notified when I'm broadcasting. And then I have my banking app, which I'm obviously not gonna go into my banking, so that's off limits. And then I have this little folder called extras, and this is literally extras. Like I have my voice mom was in there, which I keep none. I have find my iPhone, wallet, iTunes store, health, iCloud Drive, which I use like none of those either. And I have my Verizon, which I'm not gonna go into though, because that's like about like payments for Verizon stuff, so I'm not gonna go in there. And then we have Uber, which Uber I obviously use whenever I'm traveling in New York City and everything. Uh, sometimes I use on the island, not often. I mainly use it only when I'm in New York. But uh, yeah, so there's Uber. And then I have this folder called random and I keep a couple different things in here. So the first thing I have in here is my period diary and inside of here it tells me uh, that my period is 40 days late. And the only reason why it says that is because I didn't update it from the last time I had my period. I promise I'm not actually late on my period and I'm not pregnant, okay? Promise. But that's my period diary app. Anyways, moving on. And then I have KaiCalc, which KaiCalc is actually like, um, like you could do like regular math equations in it and it'll like come up and everything, but it's actually just a secret app with a secret folder in it and everything, which I'm not gonna show you guys the app. Like you guys know like the photo vault and stuff? It's like a secret way of having a photo vault without it saying photo vault. So yeah. Power school I'm not gonna go into because that's my grades and stuff and it like talks about my school on there, but that's how I check my grades. And then I have group me and group me I 
I've been using a lot actually to talk to people from my potential colleges. Like you guys know that my number one choice college right now is FIT and if I get in I am going to go there but I don't find out until April if I get in. Although on the Facebook page they formed a group me and I joined it so I've been talking to a lot of different people that applied there. So this is just my group me right now. I just have three different girls in there and then my FIT class 2021 chat. So that's that. And then I have Facebook, which I didn't have Facebook on my phone for the longest time because I barely use Facebook anymore. But I recently just downloaded Facebook back onto my phone because I joined like the college, um, what's it called? The college like, pages and everything for LIM and FIT and all that. So that is the main reason why I have it on my phone. And I have Messenger, which I'm not going to open because it's just like messages and everything from Facebook. You're required to have it when you have Facebook on the phone and everything, so stupid, but whatever. And then I have MTA and train time, which MTA is where I buy my train tickets. You know, I go to the city a lot obviously that is where I purchase my train tickets and all you do is you purchase a ticket you uh, what did I just do like I was saying you purchase a train ticket and then when the guy comes around you just show him your phone and everything and it's the easiest way to like you know get your ticket without actually having to go to the booth I 100% suggest it if you guys live on Long Island or even I think there might be a Jersey one too but download it it's a thousand times better than going into the little office and buying it 100% recommend. And then the train time one basically just tells you train times, self-explanatory. And then over here I have Twitter follow and then followers for Instagram and those are basically my two apps that tell me who unfollowed me, who's my new followers, uh, my most engagement and everything like that. So I use that for more like statistical things and if somebody unfollows me that I follow then I'm gonna unfollow them back. So yeah. And then I have Moe's Rockin' Rewards because you guys know how much I am obsessed with Moe's. Like if you guys don't already know, if you guys don't follow my Twitter, Twitter, go and find my Twitter because I am obsessed with Moe's. I always tweet about it. I go there like once a day. It is my favorite food in the world. So of course I gotta have the rewards app and it's just, it's so good. It's so damn good. And then I have Polyforge which Corbin actually showed me and it is the only app that I have on my phone that is a game. But it's so addicting. It's basically like you open it up and stuff and you just like play and it's, you got to like yeah, it's like there's like different like geometric shapes and everything and you have to like hit like this little arrow onto all the sides of the shapes. It's really fun actually and it gets addicting. Like for this one, like I just press and everything a lot and then like you try to hit like the ones that like you didn't already get and see I hit a double so then you have to restart but it's really fun and it gets really addicting. And then I have my editing folder so I have Avery which I use to edit some of my pictures. So if we were to take the picture of the mannequin or whatever this ratchet ass mannequin then you know I could use this like a drawer on it. I could you know sharpen it up. I could put a blur on it. I you know you could do all these things. The main thing I use Avery for though is the whitening feature. They have a whiten right here which you're supposed to use on your teeth but I just use it to make everything whiter as you guys can see um, it whitens things up and like especially like with my white walls I like to make sure they look like super white because it just looks very clean on my Instagram feed so that's mainly what I use it for and then I have afterlight which is my main editing app I use this for everything so if we were to take a different picture we'll take this uh, selfie from uh, uh, what's it called from snapchat and this you could just like adjust like the contrast you can make it a lot saturated you could add some exposure you could add Add some filters. Russ is like my favorite filter. So yeah, that's basically that. Um, if you guys want a video on like how I like fully edit my Instagram pictures and everything, then let me know. I can totally do it. And then I have a boomerang, which I don't use too often, but I do like making boomerangs once in a while. So yeah. But that's it for boomerang. It's basically like a little GIF image. And then I have Snapseed, which I only recently started using because this whitens the back of your pictures a lot easier than like other things do so like if I were to like take this picture of myself right here then I could use the white balance and then like press on like oh that is not what I wanted actually you press selective and then you press an area and you can like make it a lot brighter and then you swipe up and down saturation if you want more saturation less saturation so yeah it's really really good for that type of stuff and it covers a lot more surface area and it's a lot less precise than the other tool is in Avery but it gets the job done and then we have my bottom applications there so I have Spotify which you guys aren't following me on Spotify follow me right now I love Spotify it's what I use for all of my music so I have my playlist right here I have my top 2016 from Spotify I have my vibes playlist which is like kind of like chill music or like makeout music I like to call it and then I have my throwback playlist which is all of the best throwback music you guys will love it and then I have Corbin's playlist right there because he has a lot of good songs on his and then I have my star which is like my main playlist of songs that I listen to and yeah and then I 
have Safari, which I don't really use Safari that much on my phone, surprisingly. And when I do, I always clear my history. I don't look up, like, bad things, but I just like to clear my history out, you know? So there's, like, literally nothing in here right now. Um, the last thing I think I had up in here was I was looking at the cake and bake sponge, and I think that was it. So, yeah. And then I have my mail, which I'm not gonna click on because my mail is my personal stuff. I use it for YouTube, and I'm just not gonna go there. And then the last thing I have here is my phone, which if I click on my phone, it's, like, nothing significant. It's just my recent calls, which literally is Corbin and my mom and Emily, like, I don't use my phone that much either. I prefer to text or the phone. It depends who it is. There's my mom texting me right now. But that is it for my phone, basically. So there you guys go. That is all that is on my iPhone. Hope you chickies enjoyed this What's On My iPhone video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up to stay subscribed to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to stay subscribed to my channel. I am so out of breath, guys. Sorry. I have to run upstairs and then run back down here, like in the middle of filming. And I just... <sighs> If you guys want to check out my merchandise line, hashtag Chicky Merch, click the link on the screen or go to the down bar below. If you guys want to see my latest video, click right next to me. And lastly, if you don't already follow me on my social media, make sure to go and do that. My username is Beauty Chicky on Twitter, Instagram, you now, and Snapchat. Twitter, Instagram, you now, Snapchat. Yes, I got that right. Sorry, I don't know. I thought I got that wrong. But yeah, for the millionth time, I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and that is about it. So with that being said, ciao, ciao, chickies. Mwah.